Hey everyone, welcome back. So how are your preparations for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam going on? Well, I'm sure that you are learning a lot. So while you're preparing and learning a lot of theoretical concepts, it's always advisable to test your knowledge against the real exam like questions. So in this video, we are going to take some real exam like sample questions on the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. Let's begin the part 20 with question number 176 that says that which service speeds up your distribution of your static and dynamic web content such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript and image files to your users. Your options are option A, AWS Cache, option B, AWS CloudFront, option C, AWS Availability Zones and lastly option D, S3 Bucket. So friends, what according to you is the correct answer? See here we are talking about speeding up the distribution or maybe you can say loading the web content easier and faster. So the primary focus is that your web pages or your website is loading quickly so that the users are not running away. And the right service for just this purpose is given in the option B AWS CloudFront. So let's understand Amazon CloudFront in a little bit more detail, a very important service these days where not only the companies, even the individuals have their websites. So it's imperative for you to know which service to use when you want to speed up the web content. Here you can read that Amazon CloudFront is a web service that speeds up your distribution of your static and dynamic web content such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript and image files. And also the CloudFront delivers your content through a worldwide network of data centers called edge locations. So in the previous episode of this series in the part 19, I took a question on edge location. Please watch that. It's a connected concept and you must know it because the question can also come from the edge location. Now let's move on to the question number 171 that says a company needs to graphically visualize AWS billing and usage over the time. Now the company also needs the information about its AWS monthly cost, which AWS billing and cost management tool provides this data in a graphical format. Your options are option A, AWS bills, option B, cost explorer, option C, AWS cost and usage report and option D, AWS budgets. Well, the correct answer is option B, AWS explorer. And just to understand more on the AWS explorer, this is the documentation. Here you can read on the very first line that the AWS Cost Explorer enables you to visualize, understand and manage your AWS cost and usage over the time. So you can get the cost and usage information, business insights with pre-configured view. Not only that, you can deep dive into your cost and usage data with filtering and grouping. And what's more, you can also create a cost and usage forecast for a future time range for your reports. So overall, my friends, it's a very important service because cost is a very important aspect these days. So all the companies working on any cloud, be it Amazon AWS or Microsoft Azure or maybe even Google GCP, cost is a very important factor and you must know how to control it, how to visualize it, how to understand it and how to manage your cost and Cost Explorer is one great tool. And here comes some more explanation on the cost explorer. You can read all this. And in case my friends, you're looking for the PDF file with all these information, all these correct answers, questions, then you have to email us at connectors at the rate the techblackboard.com. And the second way is to join our membership community where you get loads of extra learning material and also the ways to directly connect with us. And now let's just move on to the question number 178 that says a company wants to run the production workloads on AWS. Now the company needs a concierge service, a designated AWS technical account manager, which is also known as TAM, a technical support that is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So basically 365 days, which AWS support plan will meet these requirements? Your option are option A, AWS basic support, option B, AWS enterprise support, option C, AWS business support, and lastly option D, AWS developer support. So which support plan do you think covers both the factors? First of all, provides a designated AWS technical account manager and also provides a support that is available 365 days. And friends, as I always say, always read the question with me, understand the options, think about the answer 
and just register your answer in your mind or maybe in your notepad because this will give you a confidence to appear in the exam. Well, now let me reveal the answer. The correct answer is option B, AWS Enterprise Support. And now let's understand what is AWS Enterprise Support. So here you can see that the AWS Enterprise Support scale and optimize cost and accelerate the value of your cloud investment with proactive launch and event planning capabilities. And to validate our answer, let me read this last point here. Here you can see it says 24 cross 7 technical guidance, troubleshooting support and how to advise from experienced engineers and access to a technical account manager TAM, which was also mentioned in the question to provide consultative architectural and operational guidance. So this line here or this paragraph here validates our answer. Now let's move on to the next question 179, which says which AWS trusted advisor feature is available exclusively to the users with AWS business support or AWS enterprise support. And the given options are option A notification setup, option B refresh checks, option C AWS support API and option D action links. And I'm sure looking at the options you have already figured out the correct answer. Well, the correct answer is option C AWS support API. So now let's understand what is AWS Support API. Here you can read that the AWS Support API provides the access to some of the features in AWS Support Center. And just below that, you can also read that the AWS provides two different groups of operation. The first one is support case management. That is operations to manage the entire life cycle of your AWS support cases from creating a case to resolving it. And not only that, you also get the AWS trusted advisor operations to access AWS trusted advisor checks. And as always, my friends, the links to all the documentation that I refer in any part are always given in the description box. OK, so now let's move on to the next question. Question number 118. It says what portion of AWS international infrastructure is composed of numerous independent data centers with redundant electricity, networking and connectivity? Options are option A, AWS region, option B, availability zones, option C, edge location, and lastly, option D, AWS Outposts. And well, undoubtedly, the correct answer is option B, Availability Zone. And friends, Availability Zone is a very important concept and you have to understand this concept along with the region and local zones. So here it is given that Amazon Cloud Computing Resources are hosted in multiple locations worldwide and these locations are composed of AWS regions availability zones and local zones. And further it says each AWS region is a separate geographic area and each AWS region has multiple isolated location known as availability zone. And then you can also find the information about the local zones. So a lot of information is given a very important concept in case you truly want to build a state of the art and highly available solution on AWS cloud. So those were the five questions for today. I hope you learned some core concepts of the AWS cloud. And also remember my friends, in case you're also learning Microsoft Azure, we have wonderful series on Microsoft Azure, AZ900, TP900, AZ104 and a lot more. Press that subscribe button and do not forget that small little bell icon so that you get all the timely notifications of all our upcoming videos and shots on both Amazon AWS and Microsoft Azure. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.